imagine you wake up in the world of Blox Fruits and it's time for you to train. And normally you're like, I have no fruits I've not to start off with, but this time I have every single fruit I could ever want. So it's finally time to do our journey of doing a little bit of leveling. If you look over in the shop over here, I have every single fruit I could ever want in my life. I could go for Shadow, Doe, Beast, T-Rex, Mammoth, Gravity, you know, everything I could go for. I have all of them and my journey is very simple i want to finally go ahead and level inside of this game i have done a little bit of research and have every devil fruit at my disposal so the first thing i should do is of course pick out my devil fruit i have my favorite one which is the kitsune fruit but looking at the guides this technically is not the best fruit you can go with you should go with buddha i do have that as well so let's go ahead and equip buddha right here boom confirm yes so now we have the buddha fruit unlocked and equipped so let's go ahead and transform and this is what we should want the first thing i should do is go ahead and refund my stats go over the stats and they're saying put in two for melee and one for defense for every single point so that should be around a thousand points in melee right now so boom a thousand and about 500 in defense then we have 200 left so let's just do go ahead and do like 50 50 50 and then we can do a nice 30, 30, 30. So 30, 30, 30. There we go. So that should be my stats allocated. As you can see, now we have Buddha on. We're transformed. Now our melee attacks are a lot longer range, which is very nice. The only thing I can still do right now is increase my move speed a bit. And that is getting myself the rabbit race. So let's go ahead and buy some races. And until I have myself rabbit, I don't know if it shows. There we go. We are rabbit already. Beautiful. So now with rabbit, we got increased movement speed, which does work a little bit on Buddha. It is kind of nerfed, but it's better than nothing. So it's always good. So let's just go ahead and go over towards the boss. I should use melee combat. So let's see how hard this boss is going to be. Okay, because we have increased melee range. Look at this. I can just take on the Thunder God. We had to put on our aura, of course, because otherwise he is uh, immune to physical attacks. But you can see we are doing a lot of damage. And this boss is just getting absolutely destroyed. Like, I tried this last time with some different fruits. And it took way longer. I can now probably just AFK. Can I just AFK? Is he going to be able to reach me? Huh? It's totally fine, to be honest. He doesn't do enough damage to take me down. There we go. Got us a bunch of mastery. And, of course, a lot of levels. And this will be the last soldier to ding ourselves up to level 600. Which I think should allow us to go to a new area. There we go. We're now level 602, actually. And I did a little bit more searching. And it seems there's some more items I can actually collect to help my journey. Okay, so we first have to make a little pit stop over here in this town where Buggy the Clown is. And here we have the Dark Step Teacher. And this should teach us a brand new Dark Step for $150,000. So now we have the Dark Step and this is going to work in combination with Buddha, which is absolutely awesome. And it's going to be so, so nice because we're going to have more abilities. <laughs> we're going to do more damage as well. So very, very good combination. Up next, we're going to have to go to the Marine Fortress. In here, we should take on the boss to get this cloak. So let's go take on this Admiral. Boss should be no problem at all. And hopefully, we can get ourselves the item very, very soon. And there we go, we got the code. This is a 5% drop, which increases my melee attacks by 10%, which is absolutely awesome. So, we are now equipped to continue on with the grind. Okay, so now it's time to take on the Rose Soldier as well. Made sure to adjust my stats a little bit more. So now we're at 15 on melee, 300 defense, because I just do not need more defense currently. Level 626 has been achieved, which means we can move on to the brand new next area, which we've never been to before, which is absolutely awesome. I as well now have my dark, dark step up to level 150. So I now got the overheat, which makes my kicks do so much more damage. Very, very, very worth it. I wish I had this thing first, but grinding has been a breeze with this fruit. It's been amazing. So next up, Fountain City.
And here we go. We have arrived at Fountain City. Let's get ourselves the Galley Pirates. And this route is actually really easy. And there we go. We're over here to transform. So we're going to make sure we aggro absolutely everything here. So one, two, and three. And then we can stand in the middle and just defeat every mob there is. Move on to the next area. Do the exact same. So one or two and three over there. And then we can just defeat both of these without taking damage, which is awesome. And then defeat two more on the way back and your quest is done. This may not be a big moment for you guys at home, but for me it is. I am about to hit level 700. Finally, for the first time ever in the game, which means I can finally move on to the second C. Of course, there's a third C. We have to get there as well. But right now, I can go ahead, complete this quest, and it should give me enough to get level 700, which should give me access to C number two. I've never gotten there before. Like I said, I've never even seen anything of C2. So everything is going to be brand new for me. And I am super excited to get there. Like, finally go from a noob to actually someone escaping the, the starter area of the game. It's super nice. This was such a good setup, by the way. If you get your hands on everything I had in here, the grinding will be a breeze. Talk to the detective at the prison. Okay, I'm not gonna look up any guides. Let's just see how we get there. Okay, this should be the prison area. And in here, there should be a detective which can help us out reaching the next C. Oh, there we go. Military detective interact. He says nothing. We need to help tracking down him before he takes over the world. But they sent him the, with the ice admiral in the frozen village. Take this key and track him down. Okay. We got a key. And we got to track down a admiral in the frozen village. Okay, here's the frozen village. Of course, next to the whirlpool. And there should be a hidden place somewhere i have to find an admiral and i got a key so i have no clue where to go so we'll be a little bit searching i think i remember there was this cave over here on the side of the map all our specialist ability teacher oh there's a gate here uh is this what i need to yeah there we go oh there's a boss here okay transform Get this, overheat, and let's take on this bad boy. Ooh, the Ice Admiral. Okay, not too tanky. Uh, should be pretty easy. I guess we should go back after. Oh, actually, he froze me. It's fine, and there we go. Back with the detective. Let's talk to him right now. He thinks this one is in the second C. I have a captain to take it there in the middle town. There we go. So we are finally moving over to the second C. I think as well I should still grind a little bit. I think it's a 725 in the first C. But I can't wait. Let's just go ahead and unlock the second C. And let's for the last time probably ever dock in middle town. Unless like a quest or something needs me to be here. And we have to find a... Oh, the pirate was here. I wonder where he actually went. Maybe he's somewhere else. Uh, we have to find a suspicious pirate or captain, which I thought was here in Middletown. Maybe he only appears like certain times a day. Maybe he's on the other side. Let's see. There he is. Experienced captain. Let's talk to him. I can take you to second C. Would you like to go? Yes. Let's go. Second C. Finally unlocked in the world of blocks fruits this has taken literally since i started playing blocks fruits probably like uh, like one or two years ago since i first touched this game and here we are in the second c finally so many things to explore so many places to be but i think that is a perfect way to end off this grinding video so if you guys have any tips of things i should have done things i should still do when i'm now in world 2 maybe some grinding tips or whatever of course i'll take them all comment them down below uh i think i did pretty decent i got myself level 700 after grinding for a little while and it was very smooth i didn't get any deaths really to be honest definitely getting all these upgrades was 100 percent worth it and i hope you guys can follow along as well the last thing i want to do before i end up today's video is i do want to go ahead and give away a nice buddha fruit because this thing guys helped me out so 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 much 
And if you guys want to get yourselves one of these as well, what you're going to have to do is going to be super simple. Go like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, comment down below, hashtag Buddha to get our Witcher Rogue's username, and that's everything you're going to have to do. So I'll see you guys. Take care, love, bye, thanks so much for watching, and of course as well, take care, guys.